Hello and welcome to the Matter Crit. This is Matthew Wing. In this episode of the Matter Crit, we're reviewing and analyzing Death Comes Tomorrow, a Marvel Murder Club mystery book by Robert Froger. And I got this as a birthday present from my brother. This is a series of books that revolve around three women who make up the Marvel Murder Club, whose names are Judith, Susie, and Bex. This is the British version of the Women's Murder Club that's written by St. Patterson. And that series takes place in San Francisco, California. The women's names in the Women's Murder Club are Lindsay Boxer, Cindy Thomas, Claire Washburn, and Joe Burnett. Jude is later replaced by Juki later in the books. They made a TV series, The Women's Murder Club, that came out in 2007, had one season. It was done by ABC and would be great to see on Disney Plus or Hulu since Disney would own the rights to this series. The opera wrote this book also has a series that was done by BBC and is called Death in Paradise. This book will start with the death of Sir Peter Bailey, but Judith is not convinced that it is not an accident. She's convinced that it is murder. This case will be a puzzle that will be to Judith's strength, since she does the crossword in the Marvel Free Press that comes out in the paper in every issue of the paper. This will allow her to see the clues that she needs to see once she's able to make sense of them. There will not be a bunch of pictures in this review since this is a book review. It's hard to do that than a movie or TV series. I'll give you my rating in the review. Hope this helps inspire you. Read, watch, and learn. I want to say thank you to those who signed up for Patreon. It is important to have those who sign up for Patreon as it is a wonderful way to support the channel. But use the Patreon to take an active role in this channel. If I have a new challenge for you. If 50 or more people sign up for Patreon at $10 or higher, or hire a video editor to help with my videos. This will help improve the content on the channel, and this means you will help me in this endeavor. If 50 or more people sign up for Patreon at $10 or higher, I'll make $500 or higher for this channel. This will be a great benefit, and it will be help me in doing the things like hiring a video editor. Even if you're a patron, if you decide to sign up at $10 or higher, you'll get the benefit once I reach 50 or more people to sign up at $10 or higher. I'll also give you a shirt as well as hire a video editor once I reach that fresh of 50 or more people signing for Patreon. You want to do this is this will help you get better content and you will have a say in the content that's great. Please consider doing this as possible. Thank you. Now on the view. First person of interest in this story is Tristan Mass. He has a motive to kill him because if his father, Sir Peter Bailey, marries Jenny Page, who was his father's nurse, then she will become Lady Jenny Bailey and have the money that she so craved to have. Tristan will be mean to Jenny, and this will cause Judith to be suspicious of him and make him a good person to look at for this murder. The police are ready to call it an accident, but Judith is not convinced that it is. Judith is invited to this party by Sir Peter Bailey when he's concerned that his son Tristan was trying to kill him. This sparks Judith's interest, and she decides to go with Bax and Susie, who are best friends, and part of the Marl Murder Club with Judith. Judith is the puzzle master of the group, as she can see things that are not there, and she has a sense when something feels off. It helps that she does the crossword in every issue of the Marvel Free Press. This helps her to see the clues to see Paley, Peter Bailey Deli's death. And it is odd when Judith, Bax, and Susie go to the kitchen, they find that the oil, oil can has been used, and it was used to make the door easier to open to serve Peter Bailey's study. Tristram is entitled and believes the money should be his no matter what. He wants Jean Page out of the house and believes it is his once his father breathed his last breath. And as the attorney who is handling the estate for Sir Peter Bailey, the will must be probated, and he knew that Sir Peter Bailey had a new will to be drafted. The attorney knows this as he witnesses as it, well as the gardener, Chris Shepard. Sir Peter Bailey will die once the cabinet falls on him, or so it appears to be. The death will be a blunt force trauma. This usually means an object must fall on him or for it to be so. Judith will see that things will not add up and the search for the killer and the new will must begin. The detective that oversees this case is first. is named Tanika and she is acting as the DI until the person comes back from holiday. She wants to see all the facts before deciding what to do. She will believe that it is murder but the one who was on holiday and his name is Gareth Huskins. He is incompetent and does not know what he is doing. He is quick to call the, this step of Sir Peter Bailey an accident before he sees all the facts in this case. Tanika will have to deal with her father at home. 
and has always asked her for help, even though she has other siblings that could help. Danica is the only daughter, and there is a belief that the woman is supposed to deal with problems in the home, even the other siblings could help. In terms of hierarchy in society, the males seem to have the upper hand, the females have the lower hand. This will be true of Rosanna. Rosanna is the second person interest in this story. As she was there, and she never has had the benefit of being recognized by her father. She is the one that does all the work for the estate to run smoothly, but she is always looked down by her father. She wants to feel that her father appreciates her. Tristan was interested in acting and never did the hard work of running the estate. Chris Shepard is the third person of interest in this story. The stuff that was in the study on the cabinet that fell on Sir Peter Bailey had stuff that was invented by his grandfather. Sir Peter Bailey's father denied Chris Shepard's grandfather has just do as he took the credit for the invention that his father made. This would make sense that Chris Shepard would want to murder Sir Peter Bailey for what happened to his family. Chris Shepard is guilty of something, but not murder. What is he guilty of? Please leave your answer in the comments section below. The first wife of Sir Peter Bailey in this story would be the fourth person of interest in this story. She would have a bone to peg as she was divorced by him, and Tristan has a soft spot for his mother as well. They could have been working together to want to murder her former husband, Sir Peter Bailey. She was later seen walking in the garden toward the room at 3 p.m. This will help you to see the clue to the puzzle to who the killer is. Sir Fitzabert, who was Trent's girlfriend, is the fifth person of interest in this story. She would have a very good reason to help Tristan to kill his father, Sir Peter Bailey. She wanted the title of Lady Bailey so that she could have the security of not having to work. There is one flaw to this as it has proven that she was somewhere else when the murder took place. Where was she at the time? Please leave your answer in the comment section below. Cat, who is dating Rosanna in this story, is the sixth person of interest. She is an activist that is concerned about climate change. As it is said, there is no planet B. It's not like humans can migrate in space to another planet. Cat knows that Rosanna is wronged by her father by not getting the money, but believes that that money ruins lives. This does not mean that she could not committed murder by killing Sir Peter Bailey for Rosanna. She has an airtight alibi. What is that alibi? Please leave me an answer in the comment section below. Ginny Bade, the one who is marrying Sir Peter Bailey, is the seventh person of interest in this story. Why would that be? It would be counterintuitive that she would kill her husband to be before she would could marry him. You'd think she would wait to kill him after he married. Jenny Page confesses to Judith, Bex, and Susan that she wants the money from Sir Peter Bailey. She is convinced once the will is found, she deserves the money. The will is found in the compost bin. It makes sense that the gardener, Chris Shepard, would have done this, but did not. Andrew Hustably, the attorney handling the estate of Sir Peter Bailey, tells Jenny Page that the will cannot be torn up if it is to be a valid will. The will that left everything to Tristan would be the vow will. It would make sense that Tristan is the killer, but did he act alone? Please leave your answer in the comment section below. The book has twists and turns, and what the reader thinks he or she knows, the reader does not. It will cause the reader to come up with their list of suspects, and like the three women of the mur murder club, the reader will have to be a great puzzle master like you to see all the clues. Bex and Susie, as well as Tanika, will be a great help in catching the killer, Sir Peter Bell. It will end in a very interesting way. The story will answer the questions the reader is thinking, and we'll get to the climax. It's not to reveal enough more we wrote here. I'll give it a read. Now, Gift Gift comes tomorrow, a Mur murder club mystery book by Robert Furgood, a 10 out of 10. The story is complex, and the answer is not always as obvious as one might think. But it's good that Judah does the crossword and the moral repress because it will help her to see the clues that she needs to see to catch the killer, Sir Peter Belly. There will be clues in the fireplace that will help. The clue when Lady Bailey, the first wife of Sir Peter Bailey, the trail in the garden helped Judith to see what she needed, as she would tell Bex and Susie that the clue would be answered at 3 p.m. She needed to be at the time to see what she needed to see. It will give her the answer she needs. Her friends will catch on and will be a great help, as well as the detective Tanika, who will pretend to be all mad at Judith so Judith can be alone with the killer to get a confession from the actual killer. Who is the actual killer? Were there two killers? Please leave your answers in the comments section below. The way this story read Agatha Christie and makes sense when the reader reads this book, it has an Agatha Christie feel to it. 
she was it's never obvious and it would always be a twist to her stories. Please go to www.matagrip.com and check out my blog. There'll be a bunch of blog posts that you can check out on my website. My website has links to other websites such as Patreon. As was mentioned before, you can become a Patreon. Thank you. Please check out my last video and blog post of Pause to Remember that coming up right now. Thank you. Please check out my playlist of books coming up right now. Thank you. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell to be notified of any videos of Bond the Please don't cover down the road in the comment section. Please share the video you know, so my channel. Remember, do not forget to read, watch, and learn. Thank you.